a retreat. The Tisker format of our enter is rust test at bad stations. We sometimes harm in fast so much of ourselves in a rust test that's when it doesn't turn out as it should we become its rates. On source born to an adaptation. A reduction for the future. We might have realized by now that the future is uncertain and predictable. Relying too much on one's expectations for the future and source is asking for trouble. A Western Buddhist I knew many years ago became a monk in the far east. He taught us very this remote meditation monastery in the mountains. Every year they have a 60 day meditation retreat is good towards. It's very good. Not for which mice. They rose at 3 o'clock a.m. and by 3.10 a.m. They were sitting cross led in meditation. The whole day were transmit into around 10 or 50 minutes system meditation, 10 minutes walking meditation, 50 minutes system meditation, 10 minutes walking meditation, and so on. They took their meals in the meditation hall, sitting cross legged in their meditation place, no talking were allowed. At 3 o'clock p.m., they could lie down to sleep, but only in the meditation hall, in the same spot where they had been meditating. Get up at 3 a.m. was optional. You could get up earlier if you want, but not later. The only great work for the daily interview with a fear storm master and short toilet break of course. After three days, the last and back of the wet monk were very sore. He was not used to sitting so long in a bus system that were not un that was so uncomfortable for a Westerner. Moreover, he still has another eight weeks to go. He began to dust seriously whether he could endure such a long retreat. At the end of the first week, this weren't getting any better. He was often in a gunny system like that hours after hour. Though who has been on the 10 days meditation retreat would know how painful it can get. He has another seven and a half week to face. This man's world tossed mind. He gathered on his determination and endured second by second. By the end of the first fortnight, he really had enough. The bands were too much. He questioned body squares and cast out for this sort of treatment. This was not Buddhism, the mystery. Then he looked around at the Asian monks, also reading their teeth, and right pushed him through another fortnight. During this time, his body felt as if on fire with pain. His only relief was the 10 o'clock p.m. gong when he could stretch all his tortured body to relax. But it seemed that as soon as he disappeared in sleep, the 3 o'clock a.m. gong would start walking him to another day of the torment. At the end of the Thursday's day, half queens dimly in the distance, he was now past the halfway marks. He was on the home stretch. On small there, he dealt 
trying to convince himself. The days grew longer, and the pain in his knees and back grew sharper. At times he doubted he would cry. Still he pushed doubts. Two ways to go. One way to go. In that last week, Tom Dread climbed as Aunt stuck in Tico. Even though he was now used to enduring pain, it's going to easier to give in now. He doubt would be unfair for to on he has endured so far. He was going to see it throughout, even if it kill him, and at time he doubt it might. He walk up to the three o'clock a.m. going on the sister's day. He was almost there. The bands on that last day were incredible. As if pain has only been teasing him up to them, but now were pulling no budgets. Even though there was only a few hours to go, he wondered if he was mighty. Then came the final fifty minutes. He began the sessions, imagining on the thing he would do, starting is. Only once hours time when the retreats were over, the long hot bath, the leisurely meal, talking, longing, then the pen interrupt his planning, demanding on up his might. He opened his eyes slightly, severely. Several time during that last session to peek at the clock, he couldn't believe that time was strolling so slowly. Maybe the batteries in the clock needed changing. Maybe the clock would stop altogether with the hands forever stuck five minutes before the end of the retreat. The final fifty minutes were like fifty. Earthlands, but even eternity must come to an end some days, and so is this. The guns sold so quickly for the end of the retreat. Ways of Flitzel's cars doused his body, revealed the pen deep into the background. He made it. Now he would twist himself, print on the bath. The master ran the ghost again to get everyone's attention. He has an announcement to make. He says this has been an exceptional retreat. Many monks have made great progress, and some have just get to me. And there were vast interviews that the retreat should be attended for another two weeks. I think this is a magnificent idea. The retreat is then carried on city. On the monks forced their legs again and starts motionless in meditation to begin another two weeks. The Western monk says that he doesn't feel any pain in his body anymore. He was just trying to figure out who those damn monks was who suggested the extension. The thing is, what he was going to do to them once he found out. He had the most. On monkey's plans for those uncaring monks, his anger blot out on pen. He was incensed. He was murderous. He has never felt so much anger before. Then the gun stalls again. 
It's where the whisk has 15 minutes of his life reaches over the master says. There are refreshments for you aren't in the refectory. Go as your listeners. You may talk now. The western monk was lost in confusion. I doubt what we was meditating for another to wish. What's going on? A senior monk who spoke English saw his bewilderment and came over. Smiling, he said to the Westerner, Don't worry, the master does the same every year.